hello viewers and appreciate you watching today joe and i are actually headed out we're picking up our v100 from the shop good news bad news and bad news well the good news is we're picking the wrecker up bad news is they cannot find anything wrong with the truck they've ran the truck for two days has it acted up or anything so we're picking up the truck and gonna run it around town towing some things around there so hopefully it just had a glitch or something but uh, not sure but the mechanic can't find anything wrong with it so we're gonna pick it up and the other bad news when we get back we're going to have to pick up one of our rollbacks and carry it to the shop the truck we call the rm2 the red m2 it's a 2018 Freightliner M2. It's got a deaf fluid level sensor that has went out. They're on national back order and you can't find one anywhere. If you do find one, they don't want to sell it to you. So we have to carry this truck to Cummins and they have to bypass it. So, um, When we get back, we're gonna get it hooked up and tow it over to the Cummins dealership so they can hopefully get it get it fixed. They said it take about five hours. It's had an appointment. We've had it scheduled for about two and a half weeks now. That's how backed up they are to get it in. We don't want to board the warranty out and it still has warranty, so that's the reason we're sending it to them. But We'll get it hooked up when we get back to the shop and then we'll probably video it carrying it over to Columbia to the Cummins dealership. See you in a little bit. Okay viewers, we pull them back up to our shop now and we go in here and check and make sure we don't have any outstanding calls pending. And if we don't, we'll get the red M2, get it out, get it hooked up and get it over to the dealership. fired up get it out here where we can as you can see it's, it's uh, showing death fluid flashing red it's empty but the tank is, is completely full So from what I'm being told is if we try to drive it, it could go into limp mode and I don't want to take a chance on going to Columbia and then it mess up on the way there. So I'd rather just hook it to a wrecker and carry it on over there and let them do what they need to do. From what I'm being told, it's, it's this, this is the death fluid level sensor here, and that's all we need to fix it, but we just can't, can't get one. Get your steering wheel strap. It's in this box. Which box you keep it in? Keep all the tools right here.
while Joe's getting his forks, so I'll go ahead and tie the steering wheel. I always like to put my seatbelt on here for safety. Just you hope nothing goes wrong, but it never hurts to have extra. What you're towing, always check your hood straps. Cause the last thing you want is that hood to fly up going down the road. Move on with a hook on it. side right, you can you reach out or you gonna back up back up to it It should be. You get anything any wider? You get anything wider than that, dude? Yes, sir. How much wider? Just a half inch, probably. What you look? They won't go in there? Take the tail of it up real quick and set it on the block. I dropped the airbags too quick. I said I'd crank it back up, but then it just tightened up on the chains.
A little bit higher? All right. All right. We're probably going to have to use the tall forks. All right. Drop. We can get under it. Yeah. Still gonna be close, but pull in. That's all the way in. Push up. More than one way to do it. Yeah. Pull that one all the way down. That fork all the way over. You want to leave it underneath that gusset. Where did these come off of that side, didn't they? The forks did, yes.
You good with that? Steering wheel's tied twice. Two, two ear bag straps. Uh, chains, I'm sorry. Here at the Atlantic Cummins is, is scheduled for first thing in the morning, so just drop it off. You crank run and drive, so you can drop it out front. All right, thank you, Joe. Okay, viewers, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to comment, like, share. And if you like our content and channel, please subscribe. And as always, stay safe out there. We'll catch you on the next one.